Hi, I'm Sherry Stridehorst. I am the Research Agronomy Specialist with Alberta Wheat and Barley Commissions. Well, we're going to talk about PGR staging today because it's really important for wheat and barley and for the products that you're using. So a product like Manipulator and Modus, they're gibberellin biosynthesis inhibitors and you want to um, inhibit that hormone in the plant because what that hormone does is it stretches the plant and makes it taller. So we want to prevent that hormone from stretching the plant. So we want to put it into the plant to get it on to the leaves when that plant is just starting to stretch. So that's grow stage 30 to 32. It's important because your growers are making this investment in a PGR and they want to make sure that they are getting the most efficacy out of that uh, plant growth regulator application. So if, when they apply it at the optimum time, they're going to get the optimum performance out of that PGR product. We are going to show you how to stage for PGR timing for gibberellin biosynthesis inhibitors in both wheat and barley. And this would apply to modus and manipulator and how we find that sweet spot for application of PGRs. We're here at Jason Lenz's plot to farm field and we are staging his barley for PGR application. So Jason, when did you seed this field? This field was seeded on May the 6th. Fantastic, and you sprayed for herbicide on it would have been last Thursday on June the 3rd, it would have been, so about five days ago. Okay, so we're five days after herbicide application. We're getting really close. Great time to be uh, staging your field. So some of the things you want to do is avoid being in the headlands like where we are. So we're going to walk into the field a little ways. We want to, of course, avoid headlands. We want to avoid sprayer tracks. We want to avoid anywhere where there's a little bit of oddity. Um, if the crop looks a little stunted, if there was a, accidentally a little bit of double herbicide there and find that representative part of the field. Okay, so here we are, we've got representative plants from the field. We've kind of shaken off um, the soil here and um, Jason here has a number, a couple other plants here. So again, I'll just do another quick description of a, a different plant. Um, we've got this plant here. This is the first leaf, the second leaf, the third leaf, the fourth and the fifth. And we've got tiller one and tiller two. So we're going to pull again those tillers off and then bring this part of the plant back, cut it up so we can look at node movement for staging for PGR application. And um, what we want to do is actually kind of separate it out and look at where the main stem is and that's right here. Um, we've got some tillers going on here. Um, this here is one tiller and it actually has another tiller coming out from it. So that's uh, two tillers there tiller three and we're going to pull those off to make this just a little bit easier and try and keep the the leaves on the main stem so we can count how many uh, leaves there are on the main stem maybe it's best to do that next leaf number one leaf number two leaf number three leaf number four and the fifth leaf here is is rolled so we want to stage on the main stem we pull off um, this extra part that makes our job just a little bit more confusing and difficult and we're going to cut the length of the main stem so we're going to go just along here really carefully and look at for elongation of the nodes so here um, what we've got this area here is the basal node here there's a tiny tiny little barley head so that is um, growing and it's going to move up the stem and of course become where the seed is is going to grow so we're looking at the distance between this basal node and the seed base head so as we can see here the distance there is about five millimeters so you can see right here to right there that's five millimeters so we're still in growth stage 30 growth stage 31 would mean that the distance between here here and the head is one centimeter and that would be that ideal sweet spot for gibberell and PGR inhibitor application such as a modus application on barley. Jason when did you seed this field? This was our first seeded field it was seeded on April 30th. Okay nice and early and uh, then when did you spray herbicide? Uh, herbicide was been sprayed on June 2nd. Okay, so and now we're June 8th, so about six days yep. post herbicide. So we're going to um, walk to a representative part of the field. So we'll just head in here a little bit. And so this looks uh, like a fairly uniform part of the field. So if we just dig down or crouch down here, look at some of the plants. We'll um, want to look for plants that are um, in a uniform part. We can see here that this row is a little bit sparse. We want to avoid that. Uh, this row looks a little more representative of what the field um, is doing. 
So we'll just dig up these. And Jason, what row spacing are you on here again? This is on uh, 10 inch row spacing with uh, four inch paired row boots. Um, Jason and I will just take a look at these plants. You want to kind of shake the soil off. You can see the, the seed here. Jason's using treated seed, which is a great best management practice. And uh, grab a few representative plants from throughout the field to get a good indication of um, how your staging is at multiple points in the field. Okay, here we are staging wheat for gibberellin inhibiting PGR applications. So for modus or manipulator, we've got wheat here and we're going to um, count the leaves on the main stem and also the number of tillers. So here we've got the first, uh, actually this is the first tiller and a second tiller. And we're gonna count the number of leaves on the main stem. So one, two, three, Four, and here's our fifth one that is just unrolling. Now to stage for PGR application, we need to pull off these tillers and cut the length of the main stem. Try and get a nice even cut here. And pull that open. And you can see here, this is the basal node. And then here is the first node. So this distance, um, you need that to be um, more than one centimeter for growth stage 31. And we'll just measure that up there and you can see that it's easily over one centimeter. But now the next part, this is moving from growth stage 31 into 32. So what we're looking at here is this node, this is our first node, and that's our second node just below the tiny little developing wheat head. And what we're gonna measure here now is the distance between this first node and that that wheat head and we're at about um, five millimeters. So when that distance becomes two centimeters, we will have achieved growth stage 32. And that's the ideal uh, time or the end of the window for the ideal time for a PGR application of modus or manipulator.